This 1998 paper is part of what sparked the current anti-vaccine movement. After investigating the symptoms of only 12 children, it alleged a link between vaccines and autism. One of the authors, Andrew Wakefield, testified before Congress in 2000. By the time of the hearing, the study had already been debunked, and Paul Offit, one of the scientists who had debunked it, was there next to Wakefield, testifying against him. My concern, Mr. Chairman, is that parents listening to or reading about this hearing might incorrectly conclude that vaccines cause autism. This is not the case. Vaccines are extremely safe and highly effective. The paper was eventually retracted in 2010, and Wakefield lost his medical license. But the moment had already cast doubt on vaccine safety. This became a proxy for fears that have intensified in recent years, especially with the COVID-19 pandemic. State-mandated vaccination programs have faced backlash, and a polarized political climate and a deluge of misinformation has made it harder for people to know who to trust. 